Hey, what's up everybody? Just figured it was about time for me to make another video, man. Just to really update everybody on what's going on in my life. I don't think I've made an update video maybe since the summertime, man. So it's, it's been a long time since I've let everybody know just what's going on in my life. And, uh, man, what was the last thing I said? Man? Oh, one of the things. Everybody that I talked to asked me if I'm ever going to move back to the East Coast. I'm good. This is December, and it's like 80-something degrees, and I'm in a t-shirt, man. So, um, I'm straight. Y'all can have that 32-degree weather. I'm good. Yeah, that's the answer to that one. As far as update goes, I think the last time that I spoke to you guys, uh, I think I was doing a commercial class during the summertime. Since I've been in California almost a year now, I've taken three different classes. The first one was three-day workshop by Kimberly Jensen. It was a just a cold reading workshop. It was a great intro for me. A little advanced because I was just a beginner and never done anything before. And uh, the first thing she gave me was a Denzel Washington monologue. And it's like, yo, I've never even acted before. But it was great to try to reach that and try to get to that that height of where, you know, his, his level was at. So, did that one. The second thing I did was the commercial class that I mentioned in the second vlog. It was by Carolyn Berry Commercial Studio, located right downtown in Hollywood, not too far from here. It was an eight-week program. I learned a tremendous amount of information from that one. The great thing about it is that every single class I got to work in front of a camera. So it was good to see how I project, how I come across on the screen, what my voice is like, what's believable, what's truthful, what you just come across and say, nah, that was horrible. That was horrible. The only thing that I wish I knew was just, since then, <clears throat> ah, good. All the skills and knowledge that, I, that I've gained since that class, I wish I would have had then because I would have got a little bit more from it. But you know, it was just, it was an intro class. It was, and I was a beginner, so I guess it was right for where I was at. But if I knew what I knew now, I would have got a whole lot more out of that class. Uh, the studio offers a advanced course uh, for commercial students that I'm eligible for, so I'll probably go ahead and take that just to get a little bit more out of the program. Just in that field, man. It's a whole different type of style of acting. After that two-month program, then I entered into a two-year program uh, with the Joanne Barron D.W. Brown Studio. It is a Meisner program. It just felt right. I audited a lot of different teachers and a lot of different classes all over LA. I just didn't connect with them. Some of them were just scene study classes, which I wasn't really looking for. I wanted something that was gonna build me from the bottom all the way to the top. Start me out at the foundation because I'm a beginning actor and I don't really, I don't really know anything, you know? I've never trained, I've never gone to school, I haven't done any type of theater. This is, for me, it's just really getting into this now. And so this studio was the only studio that I found that I had a great feeling about that was like, hey, we're gonna just start you out at the minimum, the basics, and then grow you from there. Uh, so within that two-year program, it's split up into three different areas. The first is a six-week intensive where you're just learning how to speak truthfully you're learning how to listen to other people truthfully to put all of the politeness away to throw all that sarcasm away that we use in real life and just get down to the real i grew a lot in in that six weeks for sure and then after that i progressed into the first year meisner program and i've been in that in about a month and a half now man there has been great and consistent growth with every single class that I've had. And I go to class twice a week. And then that's not including rehearsals that I do outside with my partner. Shout out to Dez, amazing actress. She really pushes me to a whole nother level just because she's on a whole nother level. And at times she frustrates me, but in a good way, in a positive way. And you know, you know sometimes where we know we need to be pushed in a specific direction, but you know, we don't want to go and do the work or sometimes we get lazy even with the things that we want to do. So she, she's on it, man. She, she, she's like, yo, she's gonna do the work and then I'm gonna adapt and adjust and do it too, man. We just, we just keep it moving, man. She's, a, she's an awesome partner. What I would consider a breakthrough for myself, I had just last week, actually. The one thing I've struggled with is being Paul the man in the studio. As we all know with me, I'm very calm, I'm very even keeled. And so initially I brought that into the work. That that kind of emotion, that kind of attitude really doesn't have a place in acting. Acting is about expressing everything. It's about being completely vulnerable. 
I'm not vulnerable in my personal life, so it was a struggle to bring that into the work. And so I had a real problem with reaching a range of different emotions from happiness to anger to fear. Like it was just so many places that I just couldn't go and couldn't get to because I didn't know how they felt. I didn't know how they looked. It's all emotions that I really try to stray away from in my personal life. And to bring all of these things back up that I've really tried to stray away from has to a lot of work and something that I literally work on every single day to expose all these things that I've kind of tucked away and left hidden from myself and, and from the world. So last week, me and my partner were working together in class and my particular circumstance was I was dealing with a girlfriend who gave me HIV. That's a, a really heavy circumstance to be working from. So to really allow myself to truthfully go to that place, I not only did I of course research HIV because I needed to know how it would affect me as a person, but I also created this whole imaginary world and imaginary space for myself where I created the history of who my girlfriend is, how we feel about each other, how long we've been together, what I do, how HIV affects what I do, what are my grand goals in life, what I want to do career-wise, filming-wise, how does HIV affect that? And then what's it going to be like to have to tell people in my life that are close to me and just coming to the realization that it's it's real and it's my living circumstance. It took a lot of work and a lot of emotion to build up. And then once I got all that together and I put together how I felt, which was anger, of course, fear, definitely, and betrayal. Those are probably my, my top three emotions that went into that circumstance. And then when I walked out on stage to deliver all of this, I really felt it, man. It was the first time I was ever, ever able to cry in front of anybody, in front of an audience. And the tears were flowing, my voice was cracking. Like it was, it was real, man. Even to come out and say the, and admit the words that I have HIV, I, that I have HIV, was an incredible struggle, man. I really felt the gravity of it. And the risk that you have when you take on something so heavy like that is you don't want to be untruthful about it. You don't want to do a disservice to anybody who might actually be living with HIV because it, it can come off as disrespectful if, you, if you're not playing it truthfully. After I got through with it and then I engaged with my partner and she was going through something heavy herself, we definitely clashed for sure. It was a lot of yelling, a lot of anger, and just a lot of crying between the both of us. But it was some of the realest emotions I've ever felt in my life, man. It was, it was deep, it was heavy, and it was amazing all at the same time. I got some great feedback from the teacher afterwards about it, as well as criticisms, which I for sure want more than anything, is tell me, it's great to tell me what I'm doing right, but I really want to know what I can work on so that I can get better going forward. So after getting that constructive criticism, I had a lot of classmates pull me to the side and tell me how much they really appreciated the work that me and my partner did. Desiree's amazing. I will, she has her own YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below, below for everybody. I'm just gonna keep moving. I've decided to quit my day job as well just because I feel it's something that's gonna interfere with my acting work and my ability to audition and my ability to film. Uh, it's just too much of a constraint. So I've given myself a timeline to quit. It's looking like March 1st is gonna be the day where I'm just gonna let it go and then I'm just gonna be out there, man. It's a little scary thinking that I won't have that stability financially, but there's no opportunity without risk. So I'm just gonna jump out there and see how it goes. That's it for right now. I'm coming to you live from my new apartment in Koreatown. It only took a year for me to be able to pay rent in California. I'm rooming with my friend Nikki from DC who moved out here. She's a photographer who does amazing work. So I'll put a link to her website in the description below as well. And uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's it, man. Thank you guys for watching. I'm about to start writing and uh, producing some of my own work with some friends as well. And so once I get that together, I'll put that footage up and hopefully create a dope reel for you guys to watch as well. That's it for now.